adjustments in the teapot, which will allow duplicate items to take up less load in the same area. I thought I would give Yonia a quick tour of my labyrinth as it is now, before the patch comes in and I have to redo my labyrinth to expand it once I have more load for it. So this is the labyrinth in its present state. There's a nice area to sit and be comfy over here with a passage directly to the last island, which I haven't decorated. I have no load for it, so no luck, no luck. Over here. You uh, don't want to fall down the labyrinth well. No one, no one will ever find you, so be careful. so this isn't lit up, but it's prettier than Okay. So that's the uh, eastern half of the labyrinth. Oh, here's the other. Here we have a nice little seating area. If you get tired exploring the labyrinth and you want to sit down and have some tea. Whoa. Hi, Birdie. Chamber of St. Amber. Now we can't break it. No one knows what hides at the heart of the labyrinth. So yeah, that's my, my teapot labyrinth. And where am I? Okay. So I'll just climb up on the rocks to give you a sort of an overhead view. Am I going the right way? I don't usually. Yes. So we're back at the entrance. Let's go around here and climb up the rock so you can see the ladder from up top. <laughs> so yeah, here it is. Now obviously I'm so excited to be able to expand the labyrinth when the update comes because all the walls will cost less. And as you can see, this island has plenty of space for the labyrinth to be larger. I just ran out of load, and I wanted to have stuff in the labyrinth, you know, plants and animals and stuff, and that takes up load, too. I didn't want it to just be a completely barren, featureless labyrinth, because I thought that would be boring. 